Once you've linked your Amazon Marketplace to BrightPearl, you need to connect the products on Amazon to the relevant products on BrightPearl. And this is so that BrightPearl can manage your Amazon inventory and also so that when orders are downloaded into BrightPearl, the right line item is added to the order so that when you ship it, we tell Amazon that the right item is shipped. It's also essential for your sales reporting and your profitability. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to create new BrightPearl products from Amazon listings if they don't already exist. And then where a product does already exist in BrightPearl, we're going to link it to the Amazon listing. I'm going to show you how to create a new Amazon listing using your own SKU rather than the Amazon Auto Assign SKU, which makes it easier to connect products later, using the auto matching system in BrightPearl, whereby if the two systems have the same SKU, the products will match by themselves. And then at the end of the video, we'll look at the alerts that BrightPearl gives you when products are found that don't match. Within an hour or two of connecting your marketplace, we'll have downloaded your Amazon listings into BrightPearl. And you can access these from the Channels menu by going Channels, Amazon, Live Amazon Listings. I can see that I've got three listings here on Amazon, three books, but none of them are connected to BrightPearl products because there's no name here on the right hand side. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new product in BrightPearl from the Amazon listing. And this top item I have, Sailing Alone Around the World, I don't yet have in BrightPearl. So I'll take that one and connect a new product. And you can do this in batch by selecting multiple listings. So I can change the name here. It doesn't have to match the Amazon name at all. So let's just call it that. This is the Amazon SKU. And if I'm selling this product on other sales channels, I should actually use the other sales channel SKU here, not the Amazon SKU. I'll choose a category, which I will need to have created before. And similarly a brand. I need to have created this before creating the products. Product type, default is fine. Is it taxable or not? The cost price, and that's really important. That's what you buy it for, because if we add inventory, the asset value of this item comes from the cost price, which affects your accounting. So let's say we bought this item for two pounds, and we have two in stock, and then create product. That takes us back to the listing screen, where we can see it's now connected to the sailing alone around the world product. I can click that to open up the product screen where I can see how many I have in stock, two in the London warehouse, and this is the warehouse I've connected to my Amazon channel. And then I can go to edit the product using the link at the top right, where we can see that the Amazon price has been brought into the Amazon price list, which is the price list I've connected to my Amazon sales channel. And now any changes to this price or inventory levels in BrightPearl will update the Amazon product because on my Amazon sales channel, I've chosen for inventory and pricing updates to be active. So whilst I added two items into stock there when creating the BrightPearl product, when you're setting up your account for the first time, we recommend the following workflow. First of all, make sure that your BrightPearl to Amazon Marketplace settings are such that inventory synchronization is off. Then link all your Amazon listings to BrightPearl products, but don't add any inventory. That gives you the opportunity to double check that all of your products have got the correct prices before you add inventory. Because adding inventory is a very committing stage, the cost of that inventory will flow all the way through your accounts to your profitability later as cost of sale. So the next thing to do would be a full stock take, which is exporting your product list from BrightPearl and then activating the BrightPearl to Amazon inventory synchronization before you re-import your stock take file. And that's typically the last thing you do before going live after you've connected all of your other sales channels as well. And then because you import your stock into BrightPearl, BrightPearl will update all of those sales channels with the right stock levels. What we're going to do now is connect an Amazon listing to an existing BrightPearl product. I might have imported this from another sales channel, maybe my online shop, or imported it into BrightPearl from a spreadsheet. So this item here, Deep Play, A Climber's Odyssey, is a book that I'm selling on Amazon and we can see that Amazon has created its own SKU for it. Amazon tells me I've got one on hand at 9.99, but it's not yet connected to a product. So let's click connect to existing product. And again, you can do this in bulk by selecting multiple items. So let's search for the product. And here we've got Deep Play by Paul Pritchard, which is the same book. It's actually a different SKU in my BrightPile account, but that's okay because we're connecting these two manually. You can see the Amazon SKU here up on the right hand side. 
but before I connect, I just need to check that I have them in stock, because if I connect up an item with zero stock, we'll push that inventory level up to Amazon, as long as you've got your Amazon sales channel set to synchronize inventory. So let's choose from my London warehouse, where I can see I've got two in stock. So let's just click connect. This takes us back to the Amazon listing screen, where we can see on the right hand side that it's now connected to the Brightpearl product. Now let's take the scenario where we have a product in Brightpearl that we're not yet selling on Amazon. So here I've got the Overboard Carbon Waterproof Backpack. And what I want to do is I want to list this on Amazon, i.e. start selling it on Amazon, and then connect the two products together. And the important thing here is the SKU. So that's of pack 30. I'll copy that. And then I'll go into my Amazon Seller Central dashboard, where I go Inventory, Add a Product, and then Search for the Product, where we can see the items that Amazon already has in its catalogue that match. And it looks like this top one is exactly what I want to sell, which means I don't need to create a new listing on Amazon. What I'll do is I'll sell mine, which brings up all of the Amazon information for this item. And the most important thing here is to put the seller SKU in. I choose a condition, fill in all the other details, and save and finish. I'm now selling this item on Amazon. Next time your Amazon listings are automatically downloaded into Brightpoll, we'll check for existing SKUs. And here, for example, the Amazon listing matches the same SKU that we have on the Brightpoll product so it's automatically connected to the right item, which saves us a huge amount of time. So next time that you're creating an Amazon listing, make sure you use the same SKU that you have in Brightpearl as the merchant SKU on the Amazon listing. The last thing we're going to look at in this video is channel alerts. If you have a look at the channels menu, there's a little number three up here. And when I click channels, we can see that these three relate to Amazon. Clicking the number three takes me to the channel alerts screen. These came down when we first downloaded the listings from Amazon, where the SKUs did not match a SKU in Brightpearl. You'll get all sorts of other alerts in here, so keep an eye on this number, and if you see a number, make sure you click it. Once you've read the messages, simply select them all and mark as read. And that takes us to the end of the video that shows you how to link up your Amazon listings to your Brightpearl products.